you talked about how at one point you you had one foot in the street and one one foot in rap, and, and I I just interviewed Boosie about that, and, and he said that that right there is impossible. If you a real gangster, <clears throat> not fake gangsters and rappers, they can do that. <laughs> but when you a real gangster and a rapper, you can't you can't you can't do both, man. It's, you can't do. You going down, man. They're gonna find a way to take you down. When they know that you are a real, a real G, bro. If these people know, if these people know that you you, you can't be both, man. So uh, anybody talking about they in, they still doing all this rapping gangster stuff and they get they lying. We rapping, man. <laughs> we ain't doing nothing but rapping, man. You you got you you already a gangster from your heart. Once you become a gangster. But after that, once you make it successful, man, you ain't selling all that dope, man. Come on, man. Man, we rap, man. We rap every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, man. That's how we make our money, man. Man, we ain't selling no keys and all. Come on, man. Let's keep it a hundred, man. No, when I say that, I'm not saying I'm a gangster and a rapper. When I say that, when I mean one foot in the door, one foot in the streets, I mean I'm still you know, I'm still a street nigga. I'm still in the streets. But my time is right now. I'm in the game at the same time. But I'm still involved in the streets right now, too. You know where I live yeah. at right now, where I'm still living at? I'm What's living that? in my city right now. I still ain't left my city. I'm still doing my shit. But I'm still, I'm still famous at the same time. I'm still recognized. I'm still that artist. I'm still J.D. Young. Yep. That's exactly what I mean. I mean, your mixtapes. The, the last one was uh, The Real Jumpman 23? No, the last mixtape I dropped was Wake Up. Wake Up, okay. My yeah, bad. yeah, if you ain't heard it yet, you gotta go check that out for that. Okay. Well, Stop Muddy playing. Situation, that was on, on Jumpman 23? Muddy Situation was on Jumpman number two. Yeah, yeah. That, that I thought was one of the big standouts. I mean, you and everybody in me feel the same way. That that's my favorite song on the tape. Yeah, and, and it seemed like, like like when you hear your shit, it just sounds like it's just heavily produced. It doesn't sound like some one take shit on to the next song. It sounds like every song, okay, like we're gonna layer the vocals, we're gonna get the, the harmonies right, we're gonna you know if we need to use some auto tune, we're gonna layer the beats and so forth. And let me say this, accurate? bro. Let me say this part too. I swear, bro, I don't even use auto tune. You don't? If I use auto tune, it was like on one song, and, and, and you probably wouldn't even be able to tell it's auto tune. Well, I, I ain't gonna say that because you think my songs are auto tune, but it's some shit like that don't even sound like it's auto tune. It was probably on like a bar or two. I, I don't like auto tune. I don't, bro. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying it in a derogatory type of way because yeah. people have incorporated auto tune into. Yeah, yeah, I mean nothing wrong with auto tune, but I just feel like yeah. it's not fit for me because I already have like a, you know, a high pitched voice. Okay, so 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 all the all the vocals and all the the harmonies, that's all you. Yeah, it's me, bro. I mean, and this is another thing I do with my vocals, like what more, more, most artists probably don't do. A lot of artists record with one take. I do more than one take. Yeah, no, it sounds like it. I mean, yeah. it sounds it sounds layered. It sound like it's, it's complete, like it's full. Yeah, no doubt. Have you ever actually taken singing lessons before, or is it all just? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I just I've been telling like the the last couple people I've been interviewing with. I told them I'm I'm taking singing lessons. I have plans on taking singing lessons to improve my singing. I mean, let me tell you, man. Serena Williams had a coach during her whole professional career. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you're a professional. You should be training in terms of what you do. You can't just think that you are already a master. Right. You know, I mean, every 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 great athlete has a trainer. I need some water, eh, so. No problem. Is it good if I walk out real quick? Uh, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I need to catch my out too. All right, man, we back. Um, yeah. You know, I guess I guess you just had a moment. Yeah, I had to say back. Are you okay, man? Yeah, bro, I'm good. No. What, what What do you think? What do you think triggered that that type of emotion? 
I just be having a lot going through my mind in certain moments. <clears throat> I just have to let it out. I mean, I just... I get to think about the past a lot, so I just... It fucked me up. I mean, but, you know, everybody had their moments. Real niggas cry. Absolutely, man. Uh, absolutely. I, I've definitely cried in the past year over, yeah. uh, you know, over an emotional situation. So I, I, I could definitely understand it, man. But, you, you know, you're a... You're in a very special place because I don't think anyone from your hometown has gotten to where you are right now. Nah, I don't even, I don't, nah, not, not even close, bro. And this yeah. is amazing. Yeah, I mean, you're, uh, you know, what's going to happen is that all the, you know, elementary school and junior high kids are going to be looking at you and saying, oh shit, I, I could do something more than just stay in this in this little small town. Right, and, right. And do that's, something. Right, I got, I mean, that's that's another thing, like, I'm proud of myself because I give, I get a, I give a lot of people motivation. I motivate, I motivate a lot of people to succeed. Right. Yeah, I mean, because it's one thing to see someone on a, on a computer screen, you know, or on TV, or, or you know, listen to them on Spotify, but when you see that person walking in front of you and you know that they they went to the same schools you went to, went to the same stores you shopped at and knew some of the same people, you start thinking like, oh shit, like I, I could probably do this too. Like, right. you know? Hell yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I always said, like, you know, with Obama, like he showed a whole generation of, of young black kids that you could be president. You know what I'm saying? Like when they saw that, it's like, oh shit, like, cause I, I never thought I'd even see that in my lifetime with yeah, as racist nah. as America is. That shit crazy. Barack, like he, he motivated a lot of black people. A lot of people, period, like that anything is possible. Yeah, yeah, man, but you, you're, you're really gonna go down, you know, cause like I said, I never even heard of Bogalusa before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody from different areas, like when we tell them like Bogaloos, they like they get to saying Bogaloos, Boga, Bogaloos. They just get to saying all type of stupid shit. Like damn, like what is that? Yeah, man. It's crazy, so listen, man. I, I think I think what you what you've accomplished is really dope, and I think that you know the effects of what you've done. You're not gonna even see that for five, ten years. You know what I'm saying? You go, yeah. you gonna grow up, and you gonna. People going to come up to you and say, hey, man, it was because of you that I heard of. I did this instead of that. Yeah, and, and I mean, and a lot of people, like, and another good thing about my city, like, <clears throat> when I say it, and they be like, Vogel looks like, that's my first time over here, and it, like, I really, it, it, I, I put my city on the map. 